Hi, I'm Carol O'Mara. I'm the horticulture entomologist with Colorado State University Extension here in Boulder County. Today, we're finishing our third of the three-part series on getting your seeds started for spring. Today, we're gonna to be looking at peas in the garden. Most people look at St. Patrick's Day as a perfect time to sow the green. And what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna be looking at one of garden's favorite plants, and that is the garden pea. Peas like to germinate warm and then grow cold. So there's a couple of ways that we can help jumpstart those peas into the garden. The first way is to go ahead and pre-sprout them. All you need is a little bit of a damp paper towel. So what you wanna do is lay your paper towel down on it, grab a little bit of water, and sprinkle it very lightly over this paper towel to get it nice and moist. Then you take your peas, lay them on the paper towel, nice and flat. Fold the paper towel over, push it down to keep a little bit of moisture on the top or sprinkle some more on, and then grab a little bit of plastic, a Ziploc bag or some type of plastic wrap. You wanna go ahead and tuck these guys into the plastic wrap. That'll keep the moisture in the paper towel itself while these peas are germinating. As after they've gotten tucked into their plastic, what you need to do is put them in a warm location for about a day and a half to two days. Just simply take it and put it on top of that water heater in the back room or on any type of a nice warm counter. But the trick is you have to check your peas at least twice a day. What you're trying to do is help them swell up and just sprout, just begin to break germination. Otherwise, they're going to go ahead and root into the paper towel. And peas don't like to be disturbed once they've gotten their roots under them. So you just wanna go ahead and check that paper towel by opening it up and looking to see which peas have gotten larger and started to germinate. Most of these are still a little wrinkled, but this one right here has already started to germinate. You can see here, this is the radical. That's the first part of the seed that starts to elongate out. And you can see it's just starting to push. With this pea, it's ready to go in the ground. Now, if you're not into sprouting your peas, say your bed isn't ready yet and you need a couple extra days, you can go ahead and germinate your peas inside in little peat pots. So we have them settled here and it's time to get those started. How we do this is gonna be a little bit different than just pre-sprouting the peas. Because what we're gonna be using is a little bit of this uh, pea inoculant. It's a, a bacteria that coats the pea. It helps fix nitrogen onto it. You need this when you're planting into a new garden, a garden that hasn't had a lot of growing into it. Say it's only one or two years old. Otherwise, that garden is mature enough that this bacteria is probably already in the soil and will help your peas along. So what you do is you take a little bit of this inoculate, just dump it out on the table, take your peas, so they'll hold this. They're pretty sturdy so you can handle them. And put them on the inoculate and roll them around. You can see it clinging to the peas themselves. While they're sitting here and just taking up a little bit of that inoculate, go ahead and get your peat pots ready. Mix up your soil like you do for other seed starting. So again, we're just going to lightly moisten it so it's the consistency of a damp sponge. And we're gonna fill these cells with a little bit of soil. But we're only gonna bring them up about halfway. Because these peas are very large, what we want to do is try to make sure that they are planted approximately four times the size of the, the seed into these cells. So we've got a little bit of soil. We're going to take these peas and we're going to put them one each into these pots, inoculate and all. Just like this. They're ready for a little light covering of them. Smooth it over, don't pack it down. And they're ready to go into the seedling tray that we have with a little bit of a humidity tent and of course a nice label. Since the entire tray is one type of pea, I'm just gonna go ahead and write the type of pea it is on here. Stick my label in and get it into the seed starting tray.
going to put the lid on and go ahead and get them ready to go under the lights. Most seeds don't need light to germinate. So you don't have to exactly turn the light on just if you planted them. But once they start poking those noses up, you do want to get lights on. The thing about peas to remember are two things. Once these guys start poking their noses up, they're ready to go out in the garden. So you want to prepare your garden bed. Make sure it's free of snow and loose enough to be planted in. You want the soil temperatures to be about 45 degrees. So take the soil temperature with a thermometer if you have it. We're still pretty cold out there. Also, you want to give peas something to grab onto right away. So if you can give them chicken wire, or if they're one of the, um, the tall peas, the ones that are really going to vine out, you can use one of these little mesh nets that you can find at the store, and they open up into a nice little netting that the peas can grab onto. What peas do is they have a little bit of a tendril that hooks on like fingers, and that's how they grow. If you try to use a trellis that's one of those big wooden lattices, that's a little large for their tendrils to hold on to. So think small when you're thinking of peas.